Ambassador, could you share with me what is uh, CARICOM's position on climate change? Well, this, this issue is extremely important uh, for our region, the issue of climate change. As you know, uh, we have long held the position that there, is, there ought to be, we must address the situation as it has begun to impact our region already. Some of the very, very critical issues that are facing us is the issue of global warming in particular and what should be uh, an appropriate target for us to try to achieve. We are currently experiencing uh, severe climatic events in our region, so we know that climate change is upon us. And uh, we certainly cannot uh, live here, leave here without some, some indication or some setting of a goal of seeking to achieve 1.5 degrees um, for the continued survival of our region of small island developing states. There's also the issue that we are currently uh, experiencing, as I said, the loss and damage from these weather events. So we would also like to see reflected in an agreement such as this, the recognition of the principle of loss and damage, which needs to be addressed going forward. And adequate financing must be provided so that our countries could well, first and foremost uh, adapt but also to address the issue of loss and damage. The special circumstances of small island developing states we feel very very strong must also be reflected within the context of an agreement coming out of, of Paris. We are here in full force as you would have, as you would have seen from earlier this week. A number of our prime ministers uh, addressed the, the, the meetings. Uh, two of our prime ministers <coughs> have, been, have remained here and have engaged in some very, very meaningful uh, bilaterals on behalf of the region. And our ministers have begun to come in, uh, and they will take over in the sense of the political negotiations into next week.